Hi guys, uh, this is the first tutorial in the series and uh, in this tutorial I will show you uh, how to import your foreground image after you have opened the project file. So uh, when you open the project file there is uh, all scenes uh, composition open and uh, uh, so you want to use your own photo as foreground. For that you want uh, to go to my footage folder in project panel, open it, then there is subfolder my foreground and when it's selected press Ctrl I or Mac Command I to import the file. So you navigate uh, to your photo you want to use as foreground image, we'll use this one, click on open, now it's inside the project. And uh, if you are going to use your own images, we need a empty, an empty scene with empty placeholders. So uh, pick this empty scene 30. Or if you are using uh, uh, the other project file which is uh, with only empty scenes, then you can start with number 1. So here in folder you can see there are two scene compositions. Scene 30 final and scene 30 base. We first open up uh, scene 30 final. Double click on it. And now you see there are no images uh, inside here. That's because the placeholders are empty yet. And we need to uh, put something, something in placeholders. Uh, open this uh, folder placeholders. And here is a FG foreground placeholder composition. And uh, now you see placeholder is empty. We go and drag this photo file here. Uh, so in placeholder uh, you need to adjust the position and scale of the image so it uh, fits in the frame like you want to use it. Press P and uh, Shift S for scale. And uh, now you can adjust this uh, to your liking. I will show mostly the face. Okay, like that. So here you, you should decide here in this composition how you want your image to be placed. And uh, you better think it through because it's uh, better to do in the beginning. Okay, next uh, step is you need to extract it from the background because this will be uh, the part uh, from which uh, second layer fill will be shown through. So we'll go and uh, zoom in a bit. We can start from the upper uh, part and uh, use your pen tool and start uh, making a mask. Now I recommend you keep uh, Rotobezier here checked because I think it's easier uh, for uh, beginners at least to make the mask and uh, you can always uh, later after you have made the mask uh, convert it to Bezier mask. So we'll start with a Rotobezier. With a hair you need to decide how much of the hair, how much of the detail you want to show. You can be very precise with your mask, of course, or you can even do it in Photoshop, but um, I think in After Effects it's better because then you can go and uh, adjust the mask points if uh, something is not so... Let's make an undo here. If uh, something is not so well looking as you wanted it and you don't need to you know, the workflow is easier when you do everything in After Effects. Just follow the uh, uh, the line and uh, I think when extracting this foreground the uh, important thing is to um, keep the mask line the same uh, same uh, <coughs> placement, uh, I mean you, you don't want to show any background here and uh, you don't want to uh, get this line, you know, sometimes inner, sometimes outer. 
uh, because then you would have to go back and adjust the mask points so so close to the image as possible without cutting out uh, any details you need to show and with the hairline it's uh, really your, your decision you can feather this mask of course but we don't need this uh, mm, hair outside the main uh, headline here main hair shape so and it's done now place it so you can see it properly and um, now we'll reveal the mask properties pressing MM when the layer is selected now you can see all the mask properties um, I recommend you feather it just a little bit so it wouldn't be so harsh this edge otherwise it's not natural let's put uh, like a four pixels of feather and uh, you can see a bit of the background starts to look through because we made it very close so if you feather you should always uh, make a minus expansion maybe two two or three pixels okay and here's your foreground now if we go back to the final scene you can see half of it revealed I'll show you uh, in next tutorial what to do with fill